Well, hello and welcome to Kimber Bushcraft. And you can see today I'm in my camp again. I haven't been here since I made my own lighter with my good friend Johnny. So it's good to be back. And I'd like to thank all you new subscribers that have uh, watched my recent uh, video from the Green Forest. I'm so grateful that uh, you are sending me all those nice comments and uh, for subscribing to my channel. It means a lot to me. So thank you and welcome on board my little uh, longboat here, my Viking longboat. So now I just out here making a cup of coffee, relaxing and uh, making some other stuff. Actually I got a new knife, uh, this one from one of my uh, subscribers who also have a channel and who makes these knives. Uh, his name is Sim. I'll tell you a bit about this knife and him in a while. So, the weather is nice today, uh, almost no wind, and as you can see the sun is shining from a clear blue sky, so it's really awesome. It's not so warm, about 5 degrees Celsius, so uh, it's still a little bit cold in the air, but I love to be out here. Well, it's going to be a short video. Uh, uh, next week I'm uh, planning on making another trip to a new forest and make a new video. Uh, that way perhaps I won't make that completely silent because many of you uh, like when there's also a little talk in my video. So I think I'll combine those two things. So today I'm out here making a little bit of a uh, job on my shelter and uh, so on. And I'm glad you joined me. So hang on. Uh, and today I'm also making my uh, a new thing, the shout off of the month um, for one uh, YouTuber that I think is worth uh, trying out, explore his videos and so on. And that I'll tell you a little bit about later too. Yeah, and uh, this is a knife I'm going to tell you about and uh, show in detail how it looks. Uh, it's Shem from Backlate. Uh, bushcraft and outdoors that have uh, had these made and um, first of all it's a nice little sheath I love it it has a little back here you can carry something in perhaps a, a sharpening stone or some other things and um, it's very good quality made in leather brown and uh, well I love it with brass rivets and this is the knife. Isn't it cool? I just love it. It's uh, 1095 carbon steel and I would say now it's black but that is something I've done. Uh, when I got it from Shim it was uh, uh, shiny and uh, uh, I just put some uh, gun black on it. Uh, I made a video about that. I put a link so you can see how this is done. It's um, Hickory handle, very durable and very tough. I love it, it has a good grip on your hand here. Uh, Shem are going to make these in uh, stainless steel too and uh, in something that is called sandstone wash. And they look a little bit like these. It's uh, uh, not a completely black, but I think it's more uh, dark gray. It's really cool too. And uh, I think that's a good solution. Carbon steel is very easy to rust and when you apply this it's not uh, that easy anymore. But of course you have to uh, maintain it with oil all the time so it doesn't rust. And Shem says he uh, has been inspired by a guy called Tom Brown Tracker, a knife that uh, is called that. And he's just made uh, uh, that one a little bit smaller so it fits all, also women. Uh, it has a very interesting profile you can see here. You can use this as an ordinary knife for carving tasks. And this a little section here is, uh, can be used for many things, among them making uh, feather sticks. It has a 90 degrees spine here, so I can use it with my ferrot, which I'm going to do a little bit later when I'm making my coffee. And here, it uh, looks like a little saw and you can uh, actually use it, but it's not very efficient. Uh, if you're going to uh, make a little notch in a wood, 
is perfect for that. Like this. So you have uh, something uh, to put your uh, paracord around and so on. And it can also be used uh, for uh, when you are cutting a bone. This one can also be used for skinning animals. Uh, and this is a scraper. So if you have your bone here, your animal bone, you can scrape off uh, the meat or what you call it. I'm not a hunter, but that's very uh, efficient for that too. And uh, Shem actually sells these uh, awesome knives. He has a shop on Etsy and uh, of course I put a link below so you can find it. And uh, he's going to make some other stuff and Viking eggs and so on. And uh, in time he'll put all those things up on Etsy and uh, you can buy it from there. So they sell to all over the world and I've often buy stuff uh, on that platform and it's a really great way to sell uh, small amounts of uh, uh, handcrafted things. So um, go in and check them out uh, and if this is something for you you should definitely try uh, buy it and try it out. Uh, it's very um, robust, it's very thick here in the uh, in the spine. Uh, I think it's about a quarter inch, five millimeters thick and I love that it's the same as my um, my AC5. Now I'm going to use this uh, Thomas Cole for the first time, your fair rod. And instead of the little uh, uh, paracord, I put a little leather strings on. It's a little bit more old school, which I like very much. But the fair rod is awesome. Uh, it's a nice gift. Thank you very much. And now, see if I can get spark into this. Not easy, perhaps I'll take it up here. Oh, there we are. Yeah. bit of salt in. It takes out the bitterness in the coffee and uh, it can be a little bitter if you are making uh, cooked coffee as I do cowboy.
And now for this month's uh, shout out. Uh, it's a guy in Greece called Soteris. He has a channel uh, that is called St. Vincentless Adventures. And he's a really nice guy. Uh, he doesn't talk in his videos so everyone can understand what's going on. Uh, he goes into some amazing uh, landscapes down in Greece. I didn't know they had such uh, landscape there. Lots of forests and mountains and uh, he's making a lot of overnighters there. He's cooking some very special food. I think it's Greece inspired and uh, actually inspired me to make some of my dishes. And uh, he also have a great ideas, many great ideas of uh, customizing things that he can use out uh, in his uh, hikes and uh, also uh, new things that he brought with him, that he brings with him and uh, test it out on his hikes. So go in and check him out. So Teres is a very friendly guy. Uh, you can write to him and I'm sure he'll write back to you. So go in and if you like, subscribe to his channel and I know you won't be disappointed. So. Well, this was all for now, folks. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Just an update to how uh, Denmark is regarding the coronavirus. Uh, I think all countries in the world are affected by that. And even here in Denmark, we have a lot of uh, sick people that are in the hospital. And they actually almost closed down Denmark, all schools and other places where the students are closed. and. Um, Yesterday they closed the, the borders too. Only uh, people who have uh, uh, work, uh, you can bring in uh, groceries from the uh, uh, abroad to the shops here in Denmark and so on. But you can't, as a tourist, can't you? Uh, you can't uh, travel uh, over the border unless you have a very uh, important reason for that. And I'm sure that will not be the last thing we will uh, see of. Uh, a restriction in the in the near future. Uh, in the, the next two weeks uh, there will be no uh, one at the schools. All children are uh, home with their parents and uh, many companies are sending their employ employees home uh, to uh, have a vacation. Uh, my wife is also home. Uh, she works in graphic and uh, lots of her uh, uh, work can be done uh, by the computer. So she have a little work to do, but I don't know if, if we are going to be afraid of this. Uh, only 10% are going to be infected with this virus and only a little uh, percent of those are going to be very sick and come to the hospital. But uh, all the uh, planned operations on hospitals are cancelled and uh, I think they are waiting for the big uh, boom when people really get sick and uh, will uh, well be uh, hospitalized there so well at the moment uh, I mean out here in my camp and that's quiet and no people and I can do whatever I think uh, without any risk of being infected by that so it's really nice to be out here but again thank you for watching Kimba Bushcraft this is a little video and uh, next week, uh, if the weather is okay, I'll uh, find a forest, a new forest I can come in and make a new video uh, like that. I can see for the viewers of my latest video that many of you are very uh, fond of those. So I think my plan is that every second weekend I go out and make these videos and every second weekend I'm back here in camp and doing stuff here. Thank you again for watching Kimmer Bushcraft. I hope to see you again on the next one. Bye bye and take care.